Hello, calculus fans. All right, now we're going to use springs as examples to calculate work. In physics, there's a principle called Hooke's Law that says that the force required to stretch a spring x units beyond its natural length is proportional to x. If you have a spring, it has a certain natural length. If you can compress a spring or stretch it, but it'll always want to return to this natural length. So if you want to compress it a certain amount or stretch it a certain amount, the force that's required is proportional to the distance that you want to stretch it. So that is to say the force is k times x, where k is a positive constant called the spring constant. That k will depend on the physical nature of the spring. The firmer or stiffer the spring, the larger the value of k. Hooke's law works as long as x is not too big, and it also works when the spring is being compressed. So let's take this as an example. Let's say we have a spring that has a natural length of 15 centimeters, and a 30 newton force is required to hold it at a length of 20 centimeters. That means we're stretching it out an additional 5 centimeters beyond its natural length. And then the question is, how much work is done in stretching the spring from a length of 20 centimeters to 27 centimeters? So we're going to stretch it an additional 7 centimeters. Now keep in mind that all the distances need to be measured from the natural length. So let's first solve for the spring constant. Hooke's law tells us that force is equal to k times x. So we're told that it's a 30 newton force and that the distance is 0.05 meters. We should be measuring everything in meters. Solve for k and we get 600. Now we're going to go from 20 centimeters to 27 centimeters. That's 5 centimeters to 12 centimeters beyond the natural length. Remember that the natural length was 15 centimeters. Now we'll need to write these distances in meters when we write the integral. So our work is going to be equal to the integral from 0.05 to 0.12 of 600x dx. The 600 was the k that we solved for previously. And then the 0.05 to the 0.12, those are the distances from the natural length. So we're going from 5 centimeters to 12 centimeters beyond the natural length. All right, that's a pretty easy integral to evaluate. And if you plug everything in, you'll end up with 3.57 joules. Remember that work is measured in joules. Okay, that's all for now.